Now that the stake and pot nets have gone, in theory you could fish with your half net anywhere inside the licensed area. Good fishing areas change with each tide as the sand builds up or washes away. But in general, we're always looking for features that guide the fish into the net. Pull-ons, breasts, hems, turning places, or deep pools which hold fish. Wherever you fish, you always need to make sure that when the flood tide comes in, you can get back to the shore safely. The west side of Annan Net Fishery starts at the river mouth and runs south to the middle of the main channel at low tide. This whole area we tend to talk about as Annan Rig or the Sand Rig. The Stenner runs from the river mouth to the old snab snake net. This is the traditional place to fish the late flood around 10 hours ebb, though currently it's sanded up and can't be fished. Out towards the channel is the Inn Bay. We fish the early flood here, but you've got to watch that the tide doesn't cut you off by running up the Stenner. Annan West, Mid and East Backs are named after the lines of pork nets that once stood on the Annan Rig. They're not there anymore, but we still use their names to describe where we're fishing at the channel. Another good area for the ebb and early flood is where the channel scours out around the foundations of the old railway viaduct. You can also sometimes find a place to fish the early ebb in Seafield Hole. Once you're east of the old bridge, that's what we call the Gauke, named after Gaukesk Rig, and beside the shore is the remains of Seafield Stake Net. Back out towards the channel, we can fish the ebb and early flood on the Gauke West, Mid and Otter Backs, also named after the position of the old poke nets. At the far end of that area is the Altar Stone, a glacial boulder that marks the edge of Annan Ground. From there, the boundary runs south to the middle of the channel and north to the shore at Muirbert Burn just east of Battle Hill. The remains of Clatty Stake Net are just a little further west. Between there and Sea Field there's the lead. When it's deep, it can be fished around four hours ebb and later we can do the flood here after coming off the main channel. 